Now in this video I'm going to show you how to install the roof rails and the crossbars on a Honda CRV 2012 to 2016. Now the first thing I did was go to Honda and ask them, you know, how much were the rails and the crossbars. But then he gave me the price and I thought, oh, he saw the reluctance and he said, you know what, I'll give you the discount. And his discount was about 630 for the roof rails and almost 300 for the crossbars. I thought, mm, let me go check this out on eBay. Now when you go onto eBay, you never know what's going to happen. You could get a good product or you could get a dud. So I found these roof rails, much cheaper by the way and also the crossbars significantly cheaper than the dealership and in total in Canadian dollars about a third of the price of the ones from the Honda dealership for that kind of price I thought I'd take my chances all right so here's my box of goodies especially my instructions specific instructions Honda installation instructions and somebody's crossed out a certain date and then put in 2012 to 2016 we're going to start step by step with a few of the things. Uh, we're going to be doing the 17 millimeter uh, measurement. Uh, you're not going to be reusing any of these clips again unless you're putting your molding back on, which you've already cut off, so that doesn't make any sense. There's no self tapping screw that's required on this particular model from eBay. I'm using a sort of uh, small screwdriver, a 30 size 30 Torx bit, hacksaw, measuring tape, millimeters. Some green painter's tape. These are the nuts that come with the package. That's it. Let's go. Although it's, it looks a little bit messy there, it doesn't matter because the rail is going to go over top of this and cover any imperfections up. So yeah, you can do a hacksaw. You just have to be careful with the finish of your paint. So you'll see there, partly metal through there, so you got to use a hacksaw and that's it. Now next, there are these clips that we all have to take out here. Um, not a big deal to take out because you're not actually going to use them at all. You leave the white part in. So here is the white part. You'll leave that in, but you do have to pull these guys out. And they're just, they're not really clipped in too strongly. You can pull them out with a pair of pliers, or in this case, I use a tiny screwdriver to just pry it up. That's it. this back part of the trim which you do need uh, you just need a little bit of a screwdriver they say cover it up with tape etc but I don't really see a need in front of this white thing there's just a little tab here you just have to pull up on and then from there you can it's a bit stiff but it'll come out there we go and that's the only piece that you need there so this is the interesting part. So this is the rail. On the Honda rail, there are not these access ports that you have here uh, to screw it and bolt it down. So on the Honda one, it's just, this is a plastic cap. And you can see underneath here, there's all these torque nuts holding the top down. So in fact, this is a pretty, this is a much better system, I think, in terms of keeping the top, the cap on the uh, actual rail system. So I'm going to use this plastic tool here just to pop open the access port. Now you can see this is where the uh, bolt ho bolts will go through those holes. There we go. Okay, so there's four access holes and that's it. Now, next thing, first thing before we put this in is to install this into, back into where it came from. 
we're just going to pop this in. So this clip here will just go right here and this will just cover one of the bolt holes. So there's two bolts sticking up. This will just cover this bolt. All you got to do is actually just pop it into place. It does wiggle around, but that's okay because the rail does go over top here and uh, actually uh, cover that up. And really it's just lining up the bolt holes with the washer. The big thing with anything is you don't want to tighten it all the way down until you get all the bolts in. Make sure everything's aligned properly. I'm using a T30 Torx. When I'm actually looking at these, they are hex. So um, Allen key nuts, Allen bolts. This is the T30, but that's an Allen key, really, right? I mean, this is too small for it, but yeah, it doesn't have the, the cutouts for the, for the Torx. This is just an Allen key, and T30 fits this as an Allen key perfectly, which in the package, they didn't even send an Allen key. They just said, uh, oh, the instructions are wrong all the time, but apparently these are compatible, so... Uh, whatever it works now just to put the caps back in tabs we'll go back here and just click her in that's it they are both in pretty strong So now that I got the roof rails on, I also purchased these from eBay. And similar to the roof rails that I just put up, the inst installation manual is slight garbage. There's a few pieces in here that do make some sense, but I'll show you how I put it in. So it says you need a T30 Torx bit, but again, that's quite wrong because the Allen key that they sent with it is actually more like a T15 Torx bit size or something like that, something smaller. So anyway, uh, Allen bolts, washers, and we should be able to install it. Also, there are two different size bolts. So I'm guessing that these, and of course that's not included in the instructions because I think the short ones are for installing onto the, um, onto the actual crossbar. I'll get that going and then we'll mount them up. So you just have to be aware of that. There's a right and left. Um, the bars are actually also shaped, I think, kind of like an air wing, so aerodynamically. So this is the front leading edge. So this is a bit bigger and this is a little bit smaller. So it's kind of like a wing and I face that to the front and this is going to be the right side like that. It's important not to put it on tight, of course, because this has some adjustability. You want to tighten them up after you've installed them on the car. Alrighty. I think this is going to pop in here pretty good. There we go. Yeah, I think we got it. Got it in there. Nice. Okay. Now I just got to tighten up the bolts. So I'm just pushing down just to make sure, because there is this rubber gasket here or whatever gasket here. Uh, I think it's just pushing it up a little bit, so that's just to get it lined up. That one's lined up pretty good. So put some down of pressure. There we go. It is in. So I thought I would have more installation issues with this, to be quite honest, because you never know what you're getting with uh, eBay and these aftermarket parts. 
nice and sturdy. Everything's bolted down beautifully. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's installed. Again, the instructions are not great, and that's why I'm here to uh, kind of give you the heads up on what to expect and how to do it. Now, installing these guys, I really had to push down to get the bolt holes to line up. Um, so I had to put quite a bit of weight to push down. So that's one thing to be careful, to be aware of. In general, this kind of an installation with putting the rails in, crossbars in, uh, will be about an hour and a half I took probably. Usually from Honda, these roof rails are silver. So I kind of like, because I have a black car, having these black roof rails really, really, you know, blends in with the car really, really well. So I do like that.